What? I, I can't hear you. Speak up. I have a dry melody. Then yeah. drink your Mountain Dew. You have your soda right there. I'm not holding you hostage here. Like, you have your freedom. You have your soda. The following video contains situations, subjects, and language that may be uncomfortable for some viewers and are not suitable for children. This video is for documentary purposes and meant to educate parents and communities of the online dangers that children may face, as well as shed light on those who cause these dangers. Furthermore, the individuals remain innocent until proven guilty in a court of law, as we are not law enforcement. These individuals should not be harmed or harassed based on their actions shown and discussed in this video. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi guys! Um, this video is about David, age 28, from La Crosse, Wisconsin. Although this catch did not happen in La Crosse, Wisconsin, I still put La Crosse in the title just so that, you know, it reaches his, his city. He is from across and he drove about two hours to meet with who he thought was a 14 year old girl. Not only did he meet up with who he thought was a 14 year old girl, but he was in a romantic relationship with this 14 year old girl. He had been chatting with me. Um, I did the decoy work for this for about two weeks. Now I'm not going to go over the chat logs too much here because I do go over almost all of them in the confrontation. I will read some though. You know, he was he was just such a weird guy. I mean, they're all weird, but this guy was just down massive. He would say babe after every single text. He would say things like, what would you do if I tapped on your window, babe? Like, I don't know, you'd be tapping on my window, guy. Within, I would say two to three hours of chatting, maybe less than that, he asked me to marry him. He said that he loved me. He wanted to have my kids. Another thing, he said he was a virgin and he wanted to lose our virginities together. Well, after my friend and I did some digging, we found out that David is married. His profile was so hard to find, but we did find it and he is married. He's been in a relationship, I think for like seven or eight years. I do have him contact his wife because she deserves to know who her husband is. Another disclaimer um, before we get into the confrontation, the phone call is very heavy. It's very powerful. It's very intense. And the wife, his wife reveals more skeletons that are in David's closet than what I ever imagined. This phone call may be triggering um, to some. So without further ado, um, let's get into it. Here we go. How was the drive? Pretty good. Yeah. Do you like my makeup? I have like Halloween makeup on. Yeah. Ugh. How are you? Tired. Yeah, I bet. I didn't go to bed till like four this morning. Really? Why? I had to get my sisters and them because they were out drinking. Really? Damn. Until like two o'clock this morning. Really? Oh my god. Do you drink? Oh, I know you don't drink. Yeah, I don't drink. Did you bring the goods? <laughs> I'll get the lemonade. Really? Thank you. Yeah. David, what's going on, babe? We just want to have a conversation with you. We're just filming for safety reasons. That way you can say I hurt you. Um, and I can't say you hurt me, okay? We just want to have a quick conversation. We don't want to get police involved. But we have everything, so... 
Why don't we start with, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Trying to get away from home. Trying to get away from home? And who are you here to meet? Somebody that I try to like. What's that? Probably just somebody I like. And how old was this somebody? Fourteen. Do you think that's appropriate? No. And you were in a relationship with this somebody, correct? Well, I was like, trying to take things slow. I wasn't like... Trying to take things... Like, moving steady, right? You're moving steady with this girl. Yeah, I'm not. Like I said, just for safety reasons. Um, so I just want to go over the chats. Um, we have everything here. Um, you know, you talked about being in a relationship there. I wish I could take your clothes off, babe. Why is that? I just want to take them off, and you are mine, and no one else is, babe. I will... I will never be anyone else's babe. What is my be what is my beautiful baby thinking about right now? Thinking about the fun we'll have on Sunday, babe. You sent a picture of your bathtub. You wanted to shower, take a bath with her. Hi. How's that moving slow? Well, I just don't. How's that moving slow? How is that moving slow? I don't know. Okay, I'm just confused because you said you were moving slow with this teen, um, and you know you told her you loved her on the first day. Are you in love with her? I do love her, but not. I don't want to rush things. But she's a kid. Do you do you see the issue with that? Yeah. And what's the issue? Okay, if something happens and. Uh, jail, probably. And why would you go to jail? I don't want that to happen. Yeah. So why would you put us all in this situation today? I'm trying to work with you here. I'm not, you know, going to get the cops here or anything. I'm just wanting to have a conversation with you. I'm trying to see what was going through your head. Um, you wanted to have sex with her without condoms. She said, what if I get pregnant? You said, my parents would be happy. You wanted to risk getting a 14-year-old girl pregnant. I know my family would be mad. Yeah, they would be mad. And why would they be mad? If they found out how old. Mm -hmm. Don't, like, why, why, why are you attracted to, to kids? or young teens. Like, what is it about them? To get to know them. Why, why do you want to get to know young teens, though? What is it about them that is intriguing to you, that is beautiful to you? You know, that what is it about them that you fall in love the same day, that you want to shower with them the same day, you know? What, what is it? What is it about teens? I'm thinking right now. Okay. Well, we'll come back to that. Would your parents be okay with you staying with me at a hotel for a whole weekend sometime? No, but I could tell them going to a friend's or something. I'm sure we will have sex in the hotel room, babe. I said, okay. You said, if you want, babe. We will cuddle the whole time too, babe. Do you think I should wear my tennis shoes or my slip-ons on Sunday, babe? What ones did you decide to wear today? Oh, um, Slip-ons? I asked if you were a virgin, you said yes. You wanted to talk on the phone. You wanted gas money, and then you ended up getting your own gas money. You would say, my beautiful girlfriend, you would say, to this 14-year-old. Why do you want to date a 14-year-old? I don't know what went in my head. <laughs> well, you had almost two weeks to think about it, so why don't you start thinking now? Yeah, I don't know. Well, what do you know? You should probably start answering a question. It's hard for me to answer questions. Why? 
it wasn't hard for you to, to ask and answer all these questions from this 14-year-old girl, so why is it hard coming from a grown woman? Why? Why is that? Are you nervous? Oh, really? Yeah. Why are you nervous? We're filming for safety reasons. I know, but it's just hard for me to concentrate. Well, I suggest you start trying to figure that out, otherwise this could go south real quick. You got a wife? Maybe she can help figure things out for you. Maybe she can answer some questions. Does she know about this? No. Why doesn't she know? I thought you were single. I thought you were a virgin. That's what you said to the 14-year-old. Like right now, we're just having a hard time right now. So you cheat on your wife with a child? Well, I've already had problems. Well, I'm not your marriage counselor. I just want to know why you're here to have sex with the child. What would you do if I peed in the shower when we shower together, babe? Yeah. I know, that was like... Gross. I know. It's all gross, David. Does my age bother you? No, I like older. Does mine? No, it doesn't bother me. Would anyone know about us talking? You don't want people to know about you guys talking. Which, 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 which makes me think you knew why this was wrong and that this is wrong, yet you're still here. Because you wanted to get your dick wet? Like, you wanted to take advantage of this kid? Just because you're having problems in your marriage, or what? Yeah. What? No. Then what is it? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to get away from home, right? So it's okay to go away from home about two hours to a 14-year-old girl's house? Well, it's not okay, I know. So why do you keep saying, I just wanted to get away from home? You didn't say that almost two weeks ago when you asked her to be your girlfriend, when you wanted to shower with her, when you fell in love with her. You're in love with somebody that doesn't even exist. And it's a child. What were you thinking when you sent some of these messages? Did it ever cross your mind like this is wrong? Oh, okay. What? No. Why, why didn't that cross your mind? Did it feel so right? Like what's going on? Yeah, man. It's hard. Yeah. What is hard? Things. What things are hard? I don't understand a thing that you're saying. Are you just gonna look at me? Are you gonna explain yourself? You haven't explained yourself once. I'm trying to explain myself, but I can't. If it's sitting here, it's like cameras. They're just for safety reasons. Well, what if you lunged at me right now? Or what if I did to you? That can't happen. I'm not doing that. Exactly. But what if we cut them and then you do do it, you know? I wouldn't. I don't know you, though. You don't know me. Yeah, I wouldn't just do that to anybody. It's not. You still work at M. Yeah? How's that going for you? That's good. Good? You want to keep that job, right? Or, yeah. or what would you think if they found out about this? I would be fired. Why would you be fired? Because yeah, they found out. But why? If I found something stupid and illegal, illegal, morally wrong, ruining a child's life. You get that, right? Yeah. I... They're not old enough to consent. The age of consent in Wisconsin is 18. Can I kiss you on the cheek or the lips? Will I ever get to see you naked, baby? How happy would you be if I showed up to see you, baby? I would like to...
a nickname. I would like the nickname Baby or Babe. What would you wear if we meet, Baby? You said Baby 172 times, by the way. We counted. Oh, What's that about? Oh, no, I'm just like, just saying names like that. It just, not like I have to, but it just. Why do you want to cuddle with her? Which we're cuddling right now. Will you ever move in with me after we get to know each other more and things go well for us, baby? Yeah, after I turn 17 or 18, maybe. Why do you want to move in with her if you're married? More importantly, why, why are you fantasizing about moving in with a child, someone else's kid? Oh, I just stress. Stress? That's why you're thinking about moving in with the child? Not really bad, just stress about everything. So, so why, I'm stressed out too, but I'm not over here preying on children or contacting children. That's, that's a terrible excuse. That doesn't even make any sense. Are you attracted to children? Not like that, I don't want to. Not like that, I don't want to. So are you, but you don't want to be? Is that what I'm understanding? I don't want to do nothing about that. You don't want anything to do with kids? Then why are you here to meet one today? So why are you here to meet one today? Do you want to give your wife a call and let her know what's going on? I want you to know what to say to her. You can just tell her the truth. You can tell her where you are and what's happening. I mean, I think you at least owe her that, right? Because not only are you cheating on her, it's with a child. She needs to know who she's with. Wouldn't you agree? So why don't you give her a call? Like I hate... What's that? Like I hate speaking on the phone now. You hate speaking on the phone, but you had no problems talking on the phone to this 14 year old. We have everything documented. We have the phone calls recorded. So enough with the excuses. And I suggest you call your wife. I don't even know what you have to say because she's gonna. I can talk to her. I already know she's gonna be mad at me anyway. Well, rightfully so, correct? I mean, you're cheating on her with a child. You're here. She's mad at you, but. Isn't that better than going to jail? Yeah. Like. If I, if I turned this in, do you think that the cops would be like, oh, he was just stressed out, it's fine. Do you think that they'd say that? No. No. Your wife deserves to know who she's married to. And you're just like worrying about yourself. Like, I don't want to get fired. I don't want her to be mad at me. Well, I didn't want this child to be wrong today, okay? So look at it like that. Why don't you give her a call? Otherwise I can get her number and call and send everything to her. Yeah, but you're still married to her, so why don't you give her a call? She deserves to know who she was once close with. The only thing you've been doing is making excuses. So I suggest you knock it off right now. Give her a call. Oh. What? I can just give you her number. You can give her a call. You're not 
được rồi thôi Right, so why don't you call her so she knows what's going on? Don't you at least owe her that? You care about nothing here. You don't care about being a child. You don't care about anything but yourself. You don't care about cheating on your wife. You're only thinking about yourself. Do you get that? Do you get it? Yeah, I get it. So why are you here today? Just because you're stressed? Just because you needed to get away? Were you here to have sex with this child like you said in the chats? Yes or no? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. So you're not going to call your wife? Yeah, you can put it on speaker. I won't even interrupt you. Just tell her the truth. I mean, that'll make you seem like less of a piece of shit. It'll make, it'll show me that you're not just thinking about yourself for once. You know? Well, you know, you could start out with a simple, hey babe, got caught up in a sting operation trying to meet a kid for sex, or a 14-year-old, you know? Or you could say, hey babe, got caught up trying to, trying to lure a kid out of the house, and I was in a relationship with them. You can word it that way, too, if you want. I mean, you can say whatever you want, as long as it's the truth. Before you hit call, we want to see the name on the phone to make sure not just calling a random number. That's fair, right? and switch that. Why isn't it her name? Okay, whatever. Just call. Then, if you're ready. What? I can't hear you. Speak up. I have a dry melody. Then drink your Mountain Dew. You have your soda right there. I'm not holding you hostage here. Like, you have your freedom. You have your soda. Also, all of your neighbors, we're going to put, we have thousands of copies of these, we're going to put them in their mailboxes. And your picture. And your profile. Does that seem fair, since you don't want to call her? Does that seem fair? Hello? What's going on? Is there anything going on up there? Yeah. 
freaking so much and I can't. One of us has to. You're just staring into my eyes like a no, freak. I'm not trying to. It just you're speaking. It's, uh. My speaking's what? Finish your sentence. just caught up in a sting operation and trying to meet a 14 year old girl for sex. Oh my fucking god. Has this ever happened before that you're aware of? No. Well, police are here. Where is he? Here, make things chill. He's in Fitchburg, ma'am. Fitchburg? Fitchburg. Where's that? It's uh really close to Madison, Wisconsin. Oh my fucking god. I told him this will fucking happen to him. Why did you say that? Because when me and him first started dating. He was with someone who was underage. Oh. How old was how old was she and how old were you? I was 17 when me and him first met. I was 17, almost 18. I do not remember how old she was. I think she was about the same age, maybe a year younger than me. Okay. Well, I'm sorry that we had to be the ones to tell you, but I felt it was right for you to know. I'm really sorry. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. There is an officer nearby. And it looks like David doesn't really have much to say about it. No, he doesn't. He can't face me. That's the thing. He's cheating on me constantly throughout this entirety of our marriage. There's something wrong with him, not with you. He told, uh, you know, this 14-year-old decoy that he was a single man, that, that he was a virgin. And, you know, he doesn't care that he's cheating on you. Not only that, he doesn't care that he's cheating on you with a kid. And he's just worried about getting in trouble. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about... This kid, he doesn't care about his marriage. He doesn't care about you. I I need to get this divorce done. I want it done like right fucking now. <laughs> You're hurting people around you, dude. <laughs> and you still have nothing to say. Your wife is on the phone sobbing. I don't know what else to say. What the hell are you gonna do when I tell your mom? I don't know. They're gonna be fucking disgusted with you, David! You will never be allowed back home! You will not be allowed back at your mom's! Because you're gonna be probably committed as a sexual predator! Because we live near a school! Your mom lives near a school! That's concerning. And it's, it's, what's really sad is your wife stuck by you and she was looking out for you at the end of the day. And, and, you're, and you're still doing this to her. 
He took nine years of her life. You could have been selfish on your own. You didn't have to drag her into this. You could have been single this whole time, but you wasted nine years of her life. Do you want to go and tell the officer what you were doing? I mean, there's kids at the park now, so... What a fucking idiot. <laughs> I know, I'm an idiot, I know. You don't have to face this alone, ma'am. I can give you my information if you'd like. Because I know that the person your husband, the person that's supposed to be loyal to you, that's supposed to love you through thick and thin, he's not there for you, but you don't have to go through this alone. I don't know what else to do. I, I, can't, get, I can't get to work now. I can't do anything. Where did you, where did you tell her where you were going today? He, he didn't tell me. Do you even care that you're having issues in your marriage? Like, you're just on dating sites, you know? You're just on dating sites. You're just trying to get your dick wet. Well, while she's over there, sad because your guys' marriage is failing, you're over here having the time of your life. And now you brought a kid into it, too. I know he's been talking to other girls, but I didn't know fucking this. He wanted to take her virginity, take a bath with her, have kids with her. Wife? Yeah, he did ask if they would get married. Yep. How many lives do you need to ruin, dude? Yeah. You need to make some changes. No, I'm trying to. What? I'm trying to do what I can to get my anger. I have anger too, so I'm trying to. Anger's only fucking half of it. I know, I'm trying to do things. Trying to do things. Well, these are not the correct, the correct yeah. things to be doing if you're trying to make yourself better. It's hard to believe you're such a ladies' man. He's just been used by a fucking girl. You ask this minor for gas money, so you can come and take her virginity. Oh. oh yeah, you ended up getting your own, but how was that? How was that normal? Oh, so that's why he asked his fucking payee. Yeah, not for that. Just for gas too, you know. You don't even care. Are you a sociopath? You have I no emotion. You're a dangerous person. There's gotta be something going on, I don't... Fucking beats me, like, there's fucking go tomorrow? Fucking, fucking ask me, do you fucking feel happy with yourself? He puts hands on you? Yeah. Oh, that's when I get angry. I... So that's okay? Oh, it's just when I get angry, babe, that's okay? When you have fights, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard not to hurt a woman? Yeah. Explain it. Explain it. You can explain it. I'll wait. He can't explain it because he doesn't know what the fuck to say. He doesn't. He thinks it's okay for me being a fucking punching bag. Have you ever turned him in? 
Me too sometimes. Sometimes you do, don't like let me leave. Bitch, fucking please. Well, that one time you didn't even want me to get out of the apartment. And how many times have you now let me out? What the fuck? What the hell was the last time you fucking spit in my face? I tried to leave and you kept fucking pushing me under the bed. How do you feel like after you're done being angry about it? After doing all of that, how do you feel? After probably. You feel hurt? Why do you feel hurt after beating her? Why do you feel hurt? Probably after hurting her and then... I, I should be like, why did I even do this? You should be in jail. Just for that alone. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? Yeah. I don't want to be in jail. You don't want to be in jail? You just want to keep continuing to beat your wife then? And hurt her? And cheat on her with kids? That's what you want to do? You want to keep doing everything that you're doing without changing yourself? You just don't want to go to jail. Well, I'm trying to go to therapy too. What's stopping you? I'm not fucking helping. Well, I'm trying to go there, like, trying to go as many times as I can. But you don't fucking listen to him. What the hell happened on freaking Friday with the hell you You started yelling at me? You well, he didn't, com he didn't communicate with me, though, to have something over. Yeah, but what gives you the right to talk and start screaming at me and fucking hitting me? Well, I was trying to like, ask you, like, who was in there, and you just... He told me he was not fucking beat the living shit out of you. It doesn't matter what you were trying to figure out. You don't put your hands on your fucking wife. Multiple times. This isn't even a one-time occurrence. You've done this multiple times. It doesn't matter what you couldn't figure out. Why are you, why are you putting your hands on her? How are you able to live with yourself? Questions, it's hard for me to answer. Yeah, because you can't give one. You can't think for yourself. The only time that you have a set of balls and you can use your voice is when you're beating on a woman. I'm not trying to. How long have you how, how long have you been talking to this person? About two weeks. Where did you start talking to that? Badoo, or B-A-D-O-O. Yeah, and then they uh, switched to text, and uh, he told her, I love you, and I want to yeah. see you naked on the first day. Oh my fucking god. He says the age, the age doesn't bother him. Yeah. I go. What is that? I want to slap him. Believe me, so do I. <laughs> you need to fix this. What am I saying? Fix. Why do I have to figure out how you have to fix it? All of my advice you're not taking. I would say turn yourself in. That way you can't hurt anyone ever again. You can't be your wife anymore. You, you, she has PTSD probably because of you. You can't hurt her anymore. You can't hurt these kids anymore. You, you have history of dating a minor. So why don't you turn, I would suggest turning yourself in so you can't hurt anyone else. You're a very dangerous individual and you're so emotionless, which makes all of this even worse.
I believe he does. Has he had these kind of issues since the beginning? Um, he was sweet, loving, caring all in the beginning, and then when I moved up here, that's just what the hell it all That's why it's all that. And here you are, when she's at home hurting and crying over a piece of shit. She, you do not deserve, she should not be crying over you. But, you know, she's in love with you. So she's at home crying over a piece of shit who's out here just cheating on her with children. When do you see your therapist next? I see him tomorrow too. Tomorrow? Yeah, you gonna I, bring this up? I'm gonna bring like things. You're gonna together. bring this up, this exact scenario. So I like try to help figure what. I told him to talk about the cheating, and he's like, I don't want to bring that up. You know what? I will bring that up so that way I can, so he can help me try to figure out what. How long will the divorce take? Divorces are usually a lengthy process. With, like, what, like, what, what, like, will it be a speaker with this kind of scenario? I would hope so. I would hope so. I don't want him back home. I, I don't. Sounds like you're gonna keep living with your mom. to be in jail. He deserves to be on the streets. He deserves to be in jail. He deserves to be in prison. I just don't know what to do. I don't drive. I don't have anything. The police are here. Ma'am, the police are here. Okay. Um... We can contact you when we're done here. All right. Let's All right. try. Should we try to get a number? Or? I can get her number. Okay. chat with me or do you want to chat with him? I want to chat with you. Okay. So what are you guys up to? Um, so we run an online organization, poses children on the internet, go into chat rooms, so you guys talk to us, tell them the age, continue talking to them, they set up a meeting, they have sex, we come here, we film them. Okay. Turn it over to police. You know there's nothing we can do with that, right? So you drove up from across down here? Yeah. Okay. And are you married? Do you have a significant well, other? Okay. How old are you? How long have you been married? Okay. We talk to the other officers and we'll see where. How did you get here? Where is your car parked out here? Okay.
Alright. You guys are free to go. Um, we're gonna chat with him for a little bit longer. But it's yours? I don't know. If I... Have it if you want. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not all of my it, supervisor told it's you. Just like 20 um, pages of but stuff most likely out. Day County, our, our district attorney's not going to prosecute something like this. Yeah, um, that's why we don't call the cops when we're in Dane County. Sure. Um, because you know a lot of people like in this gym are like, call cops, call. I'm like, no, that's not how it works. It works like that in many other counties, but we David. already know that's not how it works here. Yeah. So that's why we do. David is a piece of scum. He is just such a shitty person. He, 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 he acts like he doesn't think for himself. You know, I get it, it's an overwhelming situation. But how can you play that card while I'm confronting you when you have no problem beating on your wife? You have no problems beating on your wife and using your voice then, but now you can't use your voice, you know, when you're caught in something. He is such a terrible person. Not only does he beat on women, but you know, he's in a relationship with with a kid and he's married. If you're in the lacrosse area or if you know David, please let's get this video out there. I did reach out to his wife and I really did encourage her to leave him. I also let her know that she's not alone here and if she needs anything to let me know. As you can see, police did show up, um, but as you heard it yourselves, Right away, they said there's nothing that we can do. A lot of counties are not like that. A lot of counties here don't don't think that way. So it's it's really unfortunate that you know this county does, and that's why we've been trying to not do as many confrontations in this county. I do feel for his wife. It's just such a nightmare. It's it's a really traumatic you know situation that she's been dealing with for for so long and I just hope that she can find the strength to just leave and if she couldn't before I hope that this you know this situation that occurred him him meeting a kid I hope that is at least what pushes it you know please be sure to like this video give it a thumbs up um comment if you would like please share and if you want to support this channel on a higher degree consider becoming a member Link in the description below. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and please be safe. soda.